Hey guys, I'm Will Walker and today is Film School Friday. So today I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about music, more specifically music for your videos and your films. Where I find music, how I use music to create mood and drama and a feeling, and where you can find some music to use in your videos to hopefully better your videos and make them a little bit more cinematic, to add better soundtracks to them and make them less campy. So let's talk about ways that music can create mood uh, in a video. Let's look at maybe the same scene with three different tracks laid over it. So this is a classical track. It's bright and invokes a sense of calm, like a spring sunset. Maybe it's at the beginning of a period drama. The next scene will be a Victorian lady walking down the sidewalk in a hoop skirt. Our story is just beginning. This track is also classical, but it has a darker feel. It feels melancholy. The next scene might be in a cemetery, laying an elderly family member to rest. And the shot after that is of the lonely widow riding home in a car, staring out the window painfully. This track is more of a Euro lounge vibe. It's hip, but not jarring. Maybe this is a vlog title scene, and next you'll see a Neistat-esque selfie viewpoint with the main character talking to the camera. Okay, I know I only said three tracks, but here's a fourth. This is a really cinematic track. It's like we're riding the wind, coming down softly from the climax of the story. I would use this in the denouement, or the sort of resolution of my story, tying up all the plot points at the end of the story. In my case, the finished product reveal. Okay, that's great. So that's how I use the music, but where do I find the music to use? Let's start off with the obvious, the YouTube audio library. This is pretty simple and it lets you sort by genre, mood, and instrument. It gives you instructions on how to credit the artist and the terms of how it can be used. It's fine, but honestly, it's a little tired. I've heard the same songs over and over, but if you just want music that you know won't get flagged, this is a good free option. A website I've been using for a long time is SoundCloud.com. What I like about SoundCloud is you can search for tracks, then filter them to show you only the tracks that are available for commercial use under the Creative Commons license. This can be somewhat frustrating at times, though, because not all of the tracks are available for download. It can be a little like trying to find the needle in the haystack when it comes to the perfect track. One thing I do like, though, is that you can contact the artist directly through their platform. So, if you're unsure about the usage of a track or want to find out how to get the track and the terms, you can send them a direct message. This has been helpful in the past. I had a video flagged on YouTube, but I was able to repeal the flag because I had the message thread between me and the artist. Next, I want to talk about Andrew Applepie. He is a charismatic German fellow who can make a song or a beat from just about anything. He truly is an incredibly talented guy. His songs are available for purchase, with his newest album being about 7 euro and his older catalog you can name your price on. I know that you can use his songs for YouTube, but in a commercial application, I think I would reach out to him directly and see what he would require to obtain a license. Another great one is Bureaucratic. He has a similar setup, but you actually need to email him to get his terms on how to use his songs in your videos. Both of these guys can be found on Bandcamp.com. And the service that I've been using for the last six months or so is Artlist.io. It has seriously stepped up my production value. Artlist is a subscription-based music platform aimed specifically at filmmakers and YouTubers. You can sort by mood, genre, instrument, you can mix and match qualifiers, toggle tracks with vocals and no vocals. The stuff I've been hearing on there is premium cinematic goodness. So it's 200 bucks a year and you can download as many songs as you want versus some other services that you pay per song or your subscriber base or viewership on YouTube. Another great thing about Artlist is they provide you with the commercial license if you need it. This came in handy a few months ago when I made a video for ToolsToday.com, for their website, for their channel, etc. 
This video is brought to you by ToolsToday.com. They specialize in industrial... I was just contracted to produce a video for them in a commercial capacity. I used all Artlist songs and Good Thing too. At the end of the project, the person in charge asked me to provide the music licenses for the tracks I had used, which I could provide them with. So, full disclosure, this episode isn't sponsored by Artlist, but I am affiliated with them. And if you click on the affiliate link in the description, you'll get an extra two months for free, giving you unlimited downloads for 14 months. So you could essentially go download 200 songs and they'd be $1 a piece. All right, guys, but I can't leave you empty handed. This is a cinematic short making this bowl out of dogwood, which I'm going to be auctioning off this weekend. So be sure to stay tuned to figure out how you can bid on that. All right, guys, that's it for this time. I know I haven't done one of these Film School Fridays in quite some time, but I just got uh, just a little overwhelmed in the shop uh, with some big commissions that came through, and I just had to turn the camera off for a little bit, but no worries. So this, this is the actual dogwood bowl that I had turned uh, for this video just to get some footage. I'm going to be auctioning this off to the highest bidder. I think I will keep the auction open until Tuesday at 2 p.m. The way to bid is to go to one of my social media outlets, uh, either it be Instagram or Facebook, and I will post an image of this bowl. Find me over there and just put your highest bid either in the comments section or send me a direct message through either of those platforms. And if you don't do either of those, you can send me an email to, uh, I'll put it somewhere up here as well as my uh, my tags on Instagram and Facebook. So unfortunately, I, I have to keep this auction to the US only be just because of shipping and tariffs and all that jazz. Uh, so 
So sorry to all my Canadian friends, to all my European friends, to all of my South American friends. Wherever you are in the world, I'm sorry if you're not in the US and can't bid on this, but uh, please do let me know if you like these videos. I had put the camera down for a little bit and uh, didn't do any of these film school Fridays. The numbers weren't really up on them, but they seem to be really well received by a core group of the audience. So I'm going to keep doing them, but don't worry, I have more woodworking stuff coming out. I've just, I've got to get some stuff off my plate. If you're not already subscribed, I highly recommend you do so to get more videos uh, from me. Uh, if you like this video, let me know in the comment section and go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Maybe share this with a friend or someone who might find this useful. Don't forget to go over to Artlist and use my affiliate link if you want to get started with them. I'll put that down in the description and it would really help me out guys. Uh, I'm also on Patreon, I don't push that very much, but um, I do have a Patreon account so if you want to support the show, that's a great way to do it. And until next time guys, I'm Will Walker, this is the William Walker Comfy Project Channel, I'll see you guys real soon.